here we go with the valentine's day love message okay with the pinks and red and love and everything oh flowers <laughs> yes more flowers oh my god this roll is only flowers can y'all see and i'm in target by the way can y'all see flowers 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 and everything what y'all need to know is in cards we're approaching the card section y'all don't be intimidated by this it's just one day <laughs> okay and you need to also realize these people are trying to sell okay what, what people don't realize is this is just a marketing strategy see more marketing strategy i used to do this when i was working at a clothing store like we would decorate the mannequins properly prompt them in the window area so people like you and i can see it and come in that's what this is that's what the color is or represents don't think about it like oh you know i'm still single he hasn't proposed i'm miserable i'm this i'm that it shouldn't be that way like you have to think of this as what it is a marketing strategy don't dwell on it don't be miserable about it don't be that friend that's constantly calling your friend talking about how you're not in a relationship because of these people that are trying to sell their product so in my previous snaps i talked about how businesses commercialize valentine's day in the way they display stuff now i want to talk about valentine's day itself you don't have to wait one day out of the year to show people you love them and oh, most importantly to show love to yourself because some people make valentine's day about themselves which is totally fine it's all about self-love i just want to encourage us to not wait one day when the whole world is expecting you to to show love and this is for certain people i'm not saying it's everyone that does this but we can all do better it doesn't matter if you're an individual if you're single engaged married do better at showing yourself and other people that you care about I'm going to share with you some of the things that has helped me love and accept myself for me, okay? And the goal of self-love is with or without people, you are fine. The first and the most important one is adopting mindfulness practices where I practice self-love, self-compassion. I don't judge myself. I'm not too hard on myself. I know a lot of people can relate with that because I'm very notorious for it, but don't. Secondly, travel. Be around like-minded people. If some people's energy is too toxic for you, stay away from them. Get a nice bar, go watch a movie, look good, dress good, and feel good. This is very, very, very important because, like I said, it starts with self. When you love yourself, you will be confident in who God called you to be. To the point where you can even go out and confidently do what he, your purpose is in life. Okay? Still talking about self. It's good at work. It's good with relationships. You know who to talk to, who not to talk to, where to hang out. Even in marriage, ladies... It is very, if you don't know who you are, if you are confused, 
don't even think about marriage don't even think about it because that is really where the test would come because people will come and call you names they will come and say you talk too much they will say you are too proud they will say you are too opinionated they will say you like food, you eat, you that people, and you can't really stop people from having their own opinion because you want to have your own opinions too. But whatever they say won't even matter because you just look at them and go like, eh, what else is new? That is it. You won't even be so riled up where you will be fighting with people or you will be every day. It is so crucial and what I'm going to leave you with today is read up about mindfulness, adopt it. This is something that can be transferable to anything you do, okay? That's my opinion regarding loving oneself and Valentine's. It it shouldn't have to be a day to show yourself or people, even on social media, you know, showing that you're in a relationship or whatnot. I'm not telling you not to do it, but you should do it every day with or without social media. Okay. So yeah, let's just, like a wise man once told me, there's always room for improvement. There's always room for growth. Let's attempt to do things differently and love ourselves differently. Find unique ways to do that without giving in to marketing.